Anyway, for this video, what we're going to do is we are going to find the mean and the median with the TI Inspire. There is more than one way to do this. For this specific one, I'm going to do it um, just finding the mean and the median and not all of the other information. If you remember, the mean is the sum of all of our terms divided by n, so our calculator will add all of these values and divide them by the number of terms. In this case, we have 27. The median, remember, we ha would have to arrange the values from smallest to largest and then find the very middle number. In this case, since we have an odd number of data values, it would just be the very center value. So we're going to use our calculator to help us find these values. In order to do that, the first thing that we would need to do is we would need to select the spreadsheet screen and we would need to put in our data values. In this case, I'm just going to call it data. You can call it whatever you want to. Um, if you have the actual meaning of the data, you could put it in as that, like if it was test scores or something like that, you could put in test. And then you would go through starting down each of the um, columns and just put in your data values. Because I know that you guys don't want to watch me actually type in all of these values, I have already done that. So I'm going to go to my documents and I'm going to go down and open the data set that already has this entered in. I am not going to save what I started. So in here, what I've already done is I've already entered in the 27 values in this list. I'm going to open a calculator screen. So remember to do that, it's Control and I and I'm going to add a calculator. And the nice thing about this calculator is when I want to find the mean, I can just type in mean, and it changes it from italics up to upright. That shows you that it's a command that the calculator recognizes. And then I can either type in the word data, or I can hit the var button and it'll pull up the vars, um, the variables that we have stored. So I'm going to find the mean of the data and it gives it to me as an exact value because of the fact that the calculator is set up that way. That's the default setting. You can change that if you would like to, to do an approximation. Um, for this, it is nice because since 27, it can't be reduced. We know that there was 27 terms. So the sum of all of these values would have been 857. And then our approximate values to do that, I just do control answer or the control minus button and then control enter and the approximate squiggle is above there so um, we could say that this is 31.7407 so the mean of these values is 31.7407 we can do the same thing with the median I can actually type in the word median it's another command that the calculator recognizes and then I do my parentheses and again I just select my variable of data and hit enter and it gives me 31. So what the calculator did was it went through and it arranged all of my values in order from smallest to largest and then found the very middle number. As always, thanks for watching.